Hey everyone, I'm really excited to share that starting in September, I'm going to release free calligraphy worksheets. How awesome is that? In this video, I want to show you what the September worksheet looks like, and I'm also going to show you how to write them. So each free worksheet is going to have three words. So for the month of September, we've got the word fall, September, and autumn. So pretty straightforward. They are also written like normal in my Audrey style and then with flourishes. And then this one also has a line for you to write. This one is the pointed pen version, but I also have one for the small brush pen and the iPad, which I will also be demonstrating. So make sure to check those videos out. So the pen that I'm using is the Moblique, and you can get this through John Neal Bookseller. And I really like it because it has a, it has a little holder inside so that my nib can live in there. And then I can just take it out, place it in my flange, and then close it back up. Um, this flange is also removable, so if you wanted to write with a straight pen, you can do that as well. But I prefer the oblique since I'm right-handed, so I like to keep it in there. Okay, so once that's secure, I usually do a quick wipe with an alcohol wipe, or you can use a baby wipe or even just mild soap. And I do this because, you know, even just now, as I touched it with my hand, I'm transferring oils over to the nib. And, you know, maybe I didn't clean it well after the last time, so I'm just, just giving it a quick, quick rub. Okay, I wanna let that dry before I dip it into my ink. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that aside. I have a small cup of water because in between writing, sometimes I like to, you know, wipe off the ink from the nib, but I don't want to, you know, do a full wipe. So in that case, I can just use a jar of water. And then I have my ink here. And then this is a, um, it's an ink stand, but it's tilted. And so if I am running low on ink in my jar, this holds it at an angle like so so that I can, I can easily access, access the ink. But you know what, I just filled up my jar, so I'm probably not going to need this holder. All right, so my nib should be fairly dry by now. So I'm just gonna move some things aside and let's start writing. Okay, remember that when you're working with pointed pen, you wanna hold your pen so that the nib is almost parallel to these slant lines. Right, so you don't wanna be holding your pen like this because now my, my nib here is not parallel to these slant lines. Do you guys see that? Right, I'm basically intersecting it. And so you wanna be able to hold it so that it's comfortable in your hand but that the nib is almost parallel. Okay, so again, if your pen is looking like this where you're basically intersecting this slant line, you either need to turn your paper or you need to adjust your hand so that the nib is almost parallel to the slant lines. Okay, and the reason for that is because when you write these thicker strokes, you want the tines to spread evenly, and if they're not spreading evenly like that, and instead you're writing on the side or you're writing like this, it's not going to, um, it's not going to produce uh, the thickness or the thick stroke that you want it to. So you wanna make sure it's like this. Because if you're writing like this, then you're then as you open the tines and you move downward like this, it's not going to create as thick of a stroke as you're hoping for. So this way, the tines are spreading evenly on either side of this thick stroke, and you're able to, um, yeah, produce that stroke effortlessly. Okay, so go ahead and dip your pen into the ink. And let's start writing. So the way you write this word fall, we're gonna start with the uppercase F and you're gonna start right about here. And that little stroke right there, you want to uh, put some pressure on your nib. Remember that after every letter and every stroke, you wanna pick up your pen. Okay, 
because calligraphy is not about um, you know trying to write quickly or trying to connect all the letters it's really about the art of every single letter okay so let's try that again Now when you do this cross stroke up here for the uppercase F, you don't need to put any pressure on your pen. Just let the nib just glide on the paper. Let's try the word fall with the flourishes. Again, we started at the same place, but as we came down, we did this little point here and then went through that first stroke. And then at this point, you can actually complete the uppercase F if you wanted to, and then continue with the rest of the letters. Now for these double L's, um, double letter flourishes can be tricky, but they can also be kind of fun. So for this one, instead of starting my stroke here, I'm going to do the L like I normally would. And then come in there and finish the stroke like so. Okay, let's try it again. All right, so in this section, the write on your own, that's pretty much what it means. You can, um, after you practice these traceable letters, now you can try writing it on your own. So I'll write the, um, I'll write the word fall without the flourishes just once, and then write it with the flourishes over here. And then with the flourishes. For the uppercase S, you're going to start over here with this long tail long down stroke and then loop around like so for a long word like this you really have to kind of slow down and remember the strokes for each letter. That's how you'll kind of keep track of where you are in the word. And then if you remember how to write each letter according to its strokes, it gets a little easier. Okay, now let's try writing this word with the flourishes. 
So again, when it comes to flourishes, this one, um, it looks like we can kind of seamlessly go from each letter to the next. We don't really have to stop and go backwards. So for this S, I'm going to do this big loop up here first. Go straight into the E like that. And then for the P's, um, descender stroke right here, I, I can go right down and then straight into the flourish and then finish it up there. Now to do this R flourish through the B and to cross the T, I'm going to need a little bit more arm movement. Remember that when we're doing flourishes, you really want to make sure that you have enough room in your arm. So kind of lock your wrist and let your arm move from its forearm instead of moving just your fingers. Okay? It might seem a little shaky at first, but um, the more you do it and the more you relax and kind of get your hand going like that, the easier it'll be. So always look out for your, your posture. Okay, I'm gonna skip the right on your own because you can do that yourself. And let's go down to the autumn. For my uppercase A, I like to use this cross stroke to go seamlessly into my next letter. Now let's try it with the flourishes. Again, for this, I'm probably not going to start my uppercase A with this tail here. Instead, I'm still going to do the first stroke of the uppercase A like normal. And then I will do this big flourish here. Again, hardly any, any, um, hardly any pressure when doing that big flourish. Okay, well that was how to write the words fall, September, and autumn using my free worksheet. Remember the worksheets have um, the regular style, the one with flourishes, and also room for you to write. So this was with the pointed pen. And if you're looking for the small brush pen or the iPad Procreate versions, make sure to check those out. And I also have lots of other worksheets available in my shop, so I hope you'll check them out. Okay, until next time.